New at 6, in a few short months, the wheels will start turning at Rivers Casino, Portsmouth. The $300 million property will offer much more than slots and table games. The casino will feature a state-of-the-art sports book. Recently, 13 News Now was given exclusive access to Rivers Casino Pittsburgh, the model for what's being built on Victory Boulevard. Tonight, we begin our week-long series of reports with a look at what's likely to become a $37 billion industry in a few short years. There's no doubt Pittsburgh sports fans bleed black and gold, the Steelers, the Penguins. So it's no surprise when Rivers Casino Pittsburgh opened its $5 million state-of-the-art retail sports book. Success quickly followed. According to the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board, Rivers Casino Pittsburgh handled more than $330 million in sports bets last year. The state's take in tax revenues was $6 million. Andre Barnaby is the casino's vice president of gaming. Of course, we know it was out in the Vegas markets for, for some time, but at the end of the day, I think people are just innately interested in sports, and I think the betting piece comes along with it. Casino executives promised the same look in Portsmouth. 55-foot high-def TV monitors line the walls, along with a host of high-def 86-inch monitors. 200 club chairs provide plenty of space for things like fantasy football drafts. Pittsburgh Sports Radio. Welcome to 937thefan.com, live from the Rivers Casino Sports Park. What I like this evening, I like this Baltimore Orioles game. The different leagues or the countries that offer it. There are 33 self service betting kiosks. Daryl's in real estate, but admits to making a few bucks sports betting as well. Yeah, I generally walk out here up on sports betting. I generally walk out here down on the craps table. You can bet on almost everything here, from the PGA Tour to Major League Baseball. The nice thing about sports betting today is not only can you bet on the game before it, you can bet on things within the game during it. You can bet on whether the next pitch will be a ball or a strike, or a birdie or a bogey in a PGA event. Barnaby says real-time betting has been a big addition to the experience. Okay, rookie question. Yes. Um, where do you get the odds? Who sets the odds? Absolutely. So not a rookie question. Barnaby says the odds are set by an international company, a team that studies sports, works on algorithms, and manages the casino's risk. Sports betting is a, a very data-driven industry, uh, and, and there are people a lot smarter than me behind the screens uh, that are really plugging and chugging into algorithms and, and computer systems. The minimum bet is just $5. So it's not, you don't have to come out uh, and come out of your pocket that much to have a little bit of action. Can you bet with your heart? Oh, you, you absolutely can. I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's gambling, right? Some people are going to win, some people are going to lose. Everybody thinks that they can always pick the winner, uh, but the reality is there's not one person out there that could pick every game. Barnaby jokingly adds sports betting has been around longer than we know, but on this level, it's still very much in its infancy. And it's not just a man's game. We've got groups of men, groups of women, old, young, all walks of life coming together to just enjoy the environment and enjoy the event. I look forward to coming to Portsmouth and win some money. And in Pittsburgh, casino workers volunteer at food banks and support military families. Tomorrow, look at the casino's commitment to community partnerships as Rivers Casino Portsmouth betting big continues.